In this video, I'm doing an interesting experiment with these new alpha gel like gummies that I'm having manufactured for the pigeon, seeing if they're any kind of improvement or just the same performance as the traditional ones. Here's the custom gummy that I had manufactured, and it looks quite similar to the normal alpha gels, except that it's a one piece design. Here's the relative squish difference between the new ones. Alpha gel A2 and Alpha gel A1. For this experiment, I'll be using a flight controller in order to record black box, and I'll be using two types of lenses. One is 150 grams, and then this one is uh, 230. And both tests will be done with the lens perfectly flat, like level with the ground, and then all three types of uh, isolation gummies. I'm gonna have to find a way to mount a flight controller to the back plate of the pigeon and I'm gonna use this spare back plate uh, for this experiment. I'm guessing it's important to mount this flight controller as rigidly as possible to the back plate in order to pick up the most accurate data for what the lens is going to be experiencing during flight. This is why I added a little bit of epoxy to the MPU 6000, which is normally on a foam vibration isolation pad. But for this experiment, I want everything to be rigid and locked as possible. Next, I have the unpleasant task of drilling carbon fiber in order to mount the flight controller. To do this, I first center punch the four holes for the flight controller, and then I'm using uh, consecutively larger drill bits to step my way up to the full diameter. It's not beautiful, but it should work. Alright, so this is what I came up with. I add some countersinks on the back side so as not to interfere with the sensor plate on the back of the pigeon. And then I have battery and negative um, going to this little jumper that I'm going to plug straight into the balance port of the battery. So going into the flight controller, I first configured the black box with SD card, 1 kilohertz frequency, and gyro scaled. And then I went to CLI and then typed in set black box mode equals always. Okay, let's test this out. Uh, I'm going to plug in the ground to the ground on the balance lead. And then I have some options here. I'm going to do a 4S setup. And it looks like the flight controller has booted up and it should be recording black box. Okay, let's go ahead and install these Alpha Gel B2 bushings. Alpha Gel B2, let's try these out. This time around I've installed Alpha Gel A1 bushings. Okay, let's do our best to analyze the results. Um, first, I want to look at the gummies, and I'm going to open up both of these files and compare them side by side. The heavy lens is on the right, and the lighter lens 
is on the left. Okay, just scrolling through, let's see what's going on here. So it's definitely picking up some noise, which is good because that's how we know it's working. Roll, pitch, and yaw are kind of all wackadoodle because the flight controller is oriented vertically. So pitch is still pitch, but roll and yaw are kind of interchanged. Okay, let's look at this one, make sure this looks all good. Okay. And now at the very end, we can see the, the landing, the rough landing. Okay, cool. I don't know how to trim these black box logs so that we only take data from you know the beginning of the motor start here all the way to right before it lands. I'm not sure how to do that. If anyone knows how to do that, please let me know. But what I can do is just at least compare spectrographs and see if there is a, a magnitude of a difference between the two. Okay, so for remember the lighter lens, 150 grams, is on the left, and then the 236 gram lens is on the right. So this is the roll axis, which is actually yaw axis. And let's check out pitch for both. Okay, definitely more noise on the pitch, but it's still like within the same realm. And then let's try yaw. Okay, that's our yaw. So this is comparing gummy to gummy. Now let's compare gummy to alpha gel A1 with the Laowa. Okay, let's check to see if the data looks okay. Yeah, that looks fine. All right, um, let's look at the spectrographs. So let's look at roll first. Okay, if anything, it looks a little bit noisier on the alpha gel A1 on roll. Let's try pitch. These are both the same lenses. On pitch, if it's a little bit noisier on the stiff gummies, a little bit cleaner on the low end, but I don't know why it's so spiky, but uh, that's probably because it's rigidly mounted. Um, and then yaw. Well, it's technically soft mounted by the gummies, so. <laughs> uh, all right, so we got yaw for both of them. And it's slightly uh, noisier on the stiffer gummies. And just scrolling through, seeing if I see anything crazy going on. It seems like yaw axis is the noisiest for the stiff gummies. And let's look at the alpha gel A1. Looking at the traces, I don't know, just eyeballing it, it looks slightly cleaner. Seems like roll has more noise and then yaw has less noise. So I guess the spe spectrographs uh, indicate that well. Um, jumping to the portions where I was doing a slow descent, um, sometimes you can get some like harmonics going on there with the motors and the props. So I think that's around the middle. Uh, let me just confirm this. So we land. So right before that, we're doing the throttle pumps. And that's where we get these like little jagged things. And then as we're doing our slow descents, that's when we get these vlub wubs. So let's compare vlub wubs. Okay. The vlub wubs seem to look pretty similar on the stiff versus the um, alpha gel A1. Okay, next let's compare uh, with the A2 alpha gel bushings. We're going to compare alpha gel A2 versus the red stiffer gummies on the left. Uh, both have the Lao lens, 150 gram lens. Okay, so let's blow these up and we want gyro scaled. We don't want the filters on. Okay, let's check out the roll axis. Uh, they look very similar, maybe slightly noisier on the A2 bushings on roll. And then let's check out pitch. On pitch, um, alpha gel A2 seems to be a little bit quieter. Um, okay, and then let's try yaw. On yaw, um, it's almost identical. Okay, let's compare A2 to A1. Let's first do roll. Let me move this up. Okay, so A2 versus A1. A1's on the left, A2 is on the right. Let's see, A1 looks 
kind of quieter in the outer portions, but noisier on the inner portion, on the motor noise area. Okay, let's try pitch. On pitch, they are like very similar. Okay, and then yaw. Um, alpha gel A1 seems to be slightly less noisy than A2 on the yaw axis. Okay, and last comparison, let's check out the heavy lens, 236 grams, the Samyang. We have Alpha Gel A1 and the 20A Shore Hardness Gummy on the right. Okay, uh, let's check out our roll. Scale these up. Okay, on roll, the stiffer gummies seem to be a little bit noisier. Okay, on pitch, uh, A1 seems to be smoother, okay, and then on yaw, and once again, A1 seems to be smoother. My conclusions with this experiment are that there isn't a huge difference between using the stiffer um, Shore 20A hardness or durometer uh, gummies versus using the Alpha Gel A1 versus B1 at least on my pigeon frame and with the two lenses that I used on the hover test. Uh, so the difference between them on the black box was small enough where I figured there could be just a um, variance in the experiment that caused the difference. It wasn't necessarily the pro different properties of the, uh, the gel gummies. So I think the next step is to go out into the field and fly these like, like a full flight and do an acro and full throttle stuff and see how that goes and see if there's any significant difference. Uh, because there is, if there is none, then there would be some advantages, practical advantages of using the red ones. For one, they're a lot cheaper. Two, they're unibody, so they're easier to install and uh, they don't fall out as easily and get lost like these ones. Um, and they look cool because they're red. But I wanted to do this test because uh, just to see a, a preliminary scooping out of it and see if there is a major difference right off the bat. And it doesn't look like there's a huge difference, but that remains to be seen once we get out into the field and do some rigorous flight testing.